Would you rather? Ooh. Would you rather? I have, uh, I pulled some up from the internet, but I wrote some down. As... Okay, Marshall Mathers. <laughs> uh, but there are no bars in here. So uh, I'll start off with one of mine, then I'll go off the internet, vice versa. So we get a good amount. First one that I wrote down, would you rather cure the world of one illness or you personally never get sick again? Oh, I'd rather cure the world. Okay. <laughs> You'd rather cure the world? Yeah, that is very, knock on wood, rare for me to get sick. So I'll get sick like maybe once a year, maybe twice. If I'm, I'll, I'll cure the world. And See, I don't know why, but I get sick quite often. Yeah, well, which is fine. You know, like if you're going to pick what you're going to pick, that's completely fine. But I personally will just, I'll just cure the world of one sickness. Um, so it's either be extremely selfish or help the world. Yeah. The real question we need to ask, does the world deserve it? <laughs> I mean, as much as I hate getting sick. You know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> what does the world do for me? <laughs> yeah. I don't see the world following us on our podcast. <laughs> so what has the world done for me? <laughs> no, uh, I'd probably cure uh, one illness from the world uh, as well. I, even though I hate getting sick, uh, I, Rod's is very similar to me where we're, we're quite, uh, selfless. And even if it puts us at somewhat of an inconvenience, we'll, we'll do our part to help out others. So the question is what illness would get rid of? I mean, uh, the big one cancer, right? But it's like, like, yes. Now, this is going to sound fucked up. Yeah, yeah I'll get rid of all the ca- cancers. They don't get along with Scorpios. I get rid of them all. <laughs> it sounds fucked up, even though cancer is a really big one. What if we get rid of the flu or the common cold or fevers? What if is- it's so common, <laughs> why haven't we fixed it yet? Why haven't we been able to fix it? I don't know. That should be another, uh, we should, we'll save that for another video. We'll go like a deep dive, yeah. but, uh, conspiracy theories. Mm. Actually, conspiracy theories is a good one real quick. Yeah. Type that down. I don't like it personally because I've gone that dark hole before. Very scary. You know, um, what's crazy is it is scary, but I do like a good conspiracy theory. I don't, I don't know what I know. I, I, I love them too. I do. But I don't like how accurate a lot of them are. No, there's some like very like some it of could them be a coincidence. Dive deep, deep. Mm-hmm. I well, we'll we'll save that for another time. But uh, that's a whole other one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't have to choose an illness. Well, okay, cool. Yeah, that's 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 too much of a cool a different one. All right, one from the internet. Would you rather my illness? I'm sick of these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> COVID-19. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's with that. Ah, <laughs> double top of that. Ah. <laughs> Two shots of a dab. Uh, uh. <laughs> you are a clown. All right, one from the internet. Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Nah, 10 minutes. I ain't, I ain't gonna live 150 years in the future. Now, yeah. this is circling back to us being so selfless. 150 years too far out of out of reach for me. Exactly. Ten, ten minutes from now, I could win the lottery. Hey, I I could save someone's life from an accident right here and there. Hey, I, I'm going back to Vegas. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I'm a peep out who just won the lottery, and I'm gonna be in that same exact spot. Mm-hmm. I'm taking your money. <laughs> I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 minutes into the future. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Even though it's selfish, at the same time, I think I can use 10 minutes into the future more to help others also. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Because it's like immediate. It's here. Like, you're right here in the present. With Literally, within the next 10 minutes, something's going to happen. I can help you with that. Versus 150 years into the future, great, great, great grandchildren. They don't know who the fuck I am. Yeah. Actually, they will because, you know, we're going to be famous. It is, but. Um, Our name's written in stone. In stone. We're going to. Check ha- us at the graveyard. We'll be over at the. 
be right here off a mountain what's that what's this one what's this one over here? yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't even know the name of it you know it was crazy selena, selena used to drive by that every day she was like you know there are people that are buried there that have tombstones dated hundreds and i was like mm. yeah and i was like okay she was like do you not realize there, there are probably people that don't know them anymore. And I said, what do you want me to do with that information? Do you want me to say, hey, dig them up for another, for a new one? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are we going to do with that? Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all getting evicted. Yeah. Hey, gotta go. Gotta go. Sorry, dog. Go. Sorry, hey, man. That 50 cent slot that you got. Yeah. It's, it's 2000 now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to leave. Yeah. People are dying to get in here. Get out. <laughs> Sorry. It's my favorite. It's my favorite joke to say about cemeteries. <laughs> He said that so many times. I've never, said that so many times. It never gets old. It never gets old. It never oh, does. damn, it looks kind of dead in there. <laughs> okay, one that I wrote down. Would you rather only eat fast food for the rest of your life or have to cook every meal for the rest oh, of your life? Uh, I'll cook every meal. Cook every meal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now yeah. think about the, the convenience factor of it as well. I, no, 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 I understand. Yeah, you'll cook every meal? I'll cook every meal. I, I will cook every meal. For me, currently I eat more fast food than I do cook. And I hate to say that because I do, like even today, like like I was boiling eggs. I was like, uh-huh. I'm trying to meal prep. E- even when we went to Sam's Club, I was like, all right, making this, bought those, bought those ground beef sliders. It's not just sliders that I can make. Yeah. I can make like a quick pasta sauce, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking ahead. Realistically though, If I had to choose, now mind you, this my question is only for fast food. So sit down restaurants are not included in this. So even if you cook every meal, you still go to a sit down restaurant. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but I still cook. I still cook my myself. So with that in mind, I think I would cook every meal. But I think mine is a little bit more layered. My answer is a little more layered because I eat fast food a lot. I don't crave anything. Like I have no appetite. I haven't had an appetite in sadly past like twelve years. Like mm-hmm. it's like like even if something sounds good, I'm not like fully committed to it. Mm-hmm. I I I remember being a kid, like eating home cooked meals all the time, be like, man, Olive Garden chicken Alfredo sound fire, or like man, a an ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box or something. You know, I remember that. I don't have that anymore, and probably because I do spoil myself with a lot of fast food. Yeah, and being able to cook at home give me a better sense of what I'm actually consuming. You what know, you're looking, oh, what you look forward to. Yeah, you know, like you kind of pre-plan on what you're about to eat. Exactly, uh, but also conscious of what you're putting into it, like the amount of salt, how many mm-hmm. calories you're actually going to be consuming per per serving. Yada yada yada. I'd probably cook every meal too, and I do enjoy cooking. I actually really like to to cook as well. I just because I. I've made it so convenient for myself to order fast food, especially because of like DoorDash and Uber and shit. Like, it's such a cop out. And ordering fast food, especially through a delivery service, such a waste of money. Even though I say that and I know that, I still do it. I'm trying to be better. Yeah, I'd rather eat, uh, cook every meal as well. Plus, I make some good ass food. You know what I'm saying? I, my boy here, he can cook, he buff, handsome. Sorry, ladies, he's speaking for her. <laughs> by him. By no, him. <laughs> Married. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> to the game. Okay. Oh, actually, this is a fantastic question. Would you rather have telekinesis, the ability to move things with your minds, or uh, telepathy, being able to read people's minds? We did this one, but it wasn't it wasn't telepathy. It was fly, right? I think it was, uh, yeah, what yeah. superpower would you have? Yeah. Your light turned off, by the way. How dare you? How dare you How interrupt dare you? our shot? Ugly, um, stupid. Okay. Damn, I I don't think I have the restraint to not read people's minds. You feel me? You nosy motherfucker. All right, hey man, I I'm a little cheese muscle, bro. Yeah, I like I, I like a little tea here like, and there. Cheese muscle. Yeah, right I here. like a little tea party. Then. You like mm. a little tea party? But that's tough. I've said it before. Telekinesis is gonna feed into my lazy behaviors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know that, I know that. 
being able to read people's minds though this helps out when gambling <laughs> that's what i'm saying you hit the poker table you hit blackjack i think i think yeah i'll i'll, I'll go read people's mind you know have a little bit espn um the ocho <laughs> yeah and then i just gotta i i just have to learn some restraint to not read into people's minds you know for a long time i've done this one thing improved the quality of life so much for me called minding my business <laughs> and i do it so well <laughs> i don't care to read people's minds i'm gonna go telekinesis that's that true one. too I, I think i will only read it when needed i wouldn't do it like 24 7 no honestly but, it's but like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get like I get if you that. if like some shit's going down you can kind of tell someone's lying to you yeah no, i'm reading your fucking mind <laughs> i fuck that what you hide from me yeah if you why what here's the thing i you know when we're younger we feel the need to lie to hide the truth whether it be like a little white lie or it's like where you need to you know kind of be fake not even kind of like if you're lying like a lot of a lot of us did it in like high school or middle school elementary school where we lied to try to make ourselves look better yeah when you're a grown-ass person you know minding your business and keeping things private that's one thing but if you're actively lying to me what the fuck are you lying to me for like what's the what's the game like for me i don't lie like yeah. i haven't i haven't lied since like high school right he's lied he's lied with me in bed <laughs> <laughs> but it's like like i'm being like i'm being upfront with you i'm being honest with you i'm i'm telling you how it is even if the even if what i'm telling you sucks even like even if i tell you what I'm saying, like, if that message sucks, if it's either like a personal opinion or it's like, like just a shit situation, like between coworkers, or whatever, I'm like, I have no problem saying it. Hey, big dog, your office whack. Yeah, so it's like, like, do me the favor of being honest with me as well, because I'm trying to be upfront with you. I'm not trying to have any, any barriers or any trust issues. Like, too old for this shit. Oh God, I said I'm old. <laughs> Fuck. That's it. And that's a wrap on today's podcast. Right. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, no! Please comment. Please like. <laughs> please subscribe. Spread the post. Let everyone know we old. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to fade it out to black and then bring it back in just for that. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're, We're going right. to do another. You thought. <laughs> like, I've learned, especially from being younger, it's like, like there's really no point in lying you're only making a situation worse or delaying the inevitable digging a hole for yourself, for yourself. yeah you're digging your own grave it's like stupid so you're lying to me there's a reason why you're lying to me i'm trying to figure out why the web of lies the web of lies <laughs> so, next uh, yeah as much as i would like to read mind zone telekinesis again i'm gonna pick my own fat ass up and fly it's, it, it is what it is okay next one that i wrote down uh would you rather always be the center of attention or always be the awkward one in any group i do not like um I don't mind the attention here and there, but if it's a constant thing, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, especially knowing me now, um, I'll take the awkward. I'll take the awkward one. I I can't I can't have living up to that standard of just um just you know of needing to be. Mm -hmm. It's like you're not. It's not even you're willing to be the center of attention. Yeah. Like because a lot of the times for you and I in crowds and stuff like group hangouts become the center of it no. whether it's just like the vibe we're putting out or we're talking about like something very interesting we yeah, just end up or whatnot like i'd say i'm not trying to be cocky or anything but like half of the time we do end up being center of attention like i don't have any problem <coughs> attention but i'm not trying to be the center of attention i for me personally especially like that's that's really weird if like if you're going to like someone's birthday like you're celebrating somebody else and you become the center of attention to someone else's party that's fucked up that's weird 
Happy birthday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guess who's here? Get the two big bears. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But at the same time, I have been the awkward one in, in groups many times before. Even, even to this day, I'm still pretty awkward. You know, I am. We talked about it in a previous podcast, like being introverted, extroverted. Omniverted, whatever the fuck. Perverted. Okay. No. Was that not the? Po- no. Oh, was that not released? Oh, okay, my no, bad. That was. Kidding, that was on your OnlyFans. Uh, oh, that's on Ratu's oh. OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only uh, hands. Uh, it's raw feet. <laughs> <laughs> raw feet too. <laughs> like I don't mind being the awkward one, but I can tell, like, there, there, there are extroverted people that are like. Man, why are you in the corner? Or like, why are you not talking to anybody? Leave me alone. I'm, just, I'm, like, I'm minding my business. Yeah, I'm chilling. Like, I'm just enjoying the environment. Like, like I have no problem just vibing, not having to mingle with anybody. Yeah, a lot less pressure on my my social battery. Yeah, but I think there have been times where I flipped it though, where I am the awkward one, and like someone will talk to me, and then like conversation will happen, and then like people come by. Just takes like, a while for you know. For it to heat up, <clears throat> but I think I'd be the awkward one over the center of attention. Oh. Yeah, same. same Especially with same. that with that scenario that I just brought up. I didn't even think about that scenario when I wrote that question down. Yeah, no, no, no. Like I would, I would. You're at somebody's down. wedding, <laughs> and you're the center of attention. I know you guys just cha- uh, just exchange vows and whatnot, but uh, guess who's in the crowd over there? <laughs> Cisco, yeah. Cisco. Yeah. No, fuck that. Fuck. All of that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip this other one. Unless you want to answer, would you rather team up with Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? I really don't care. I really don't care. Probably Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. The mask is in me. What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, but uh, I'll answer this or I'll ask this one. Would you rather be forced to sing along uh, or dance to every, or would you rather sing along? Or dance to every single song you hear. Oof. Sing along. Yeah, you would sing along. I, I do that. I do that daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. gets irritated by it. We'll be yeah. in the car. Should we try to have a conversation with me? I'll, uh, singing a song. I'll be like, yeah. I don't want to lose yeah. it now. <laughs> I'm right at the other. Let's go to uh, Burger King. Uh, I, do <laughs> you know, like, I do this so often. She's like, I hate when you do it. I was like, here's, here's the problem. You are asking me questions when I'm in the middle of my song. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. You know this is a good song. You know this is a good song. <laughs> Enjoy the song and then ask the question. Yeah. Or ask it in song. <laughs> then I'll sing it back to you. Yeah. I I already do the singing thing too. I yeah I've noticed that as well. Um, I do that a lot at work with Sheena. Uh, but the dancing is another thing too. But you know what? Being old, man, it just. It don't move like it used to. Sure don't. It don't you know what I mean? These it sure don't. <laughs> I tried to do the cha-cha slide. And- I, I shook what my mama gave me. I didn't know my mom had arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> what, what's, what's the back problem? Scoliosis or something? Scoliosis, yeah. yeah. I didn't know I, I had didn't that I didn't know either. that I had a curved spine. I didn't-, <laughs> didn't know my mom was the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I with that question, um, singing, I, I'd already do it anyways, so yeah, sing with every song that I hear. The snack yeah. that smiles back, goldfish. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby. <laughs> hey, and sing hey. doing that, doing that commercial, iconic, iconic indeed, I- iconic indeed. Actually, that's a question that I have for another, for another podcast. We'll do it later. That, that is, I think, anytime I go there. I'll I'll sing it. Regardless, it's not on the menu or not. Even I think they they do have baby back ribs, but it's not as advertised as it like was. I will still say it. Yeah, I want my baby back, baby back, baby. Yeah, what would you what would you like, sir? Yeah, let me get the triple dipper. <laughs> Can I get the ultimate smokehouse combo? Yeah, yeah. I don't want the, I don't want the baby back ribs. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, sing along every song. Okay, next question. This one has to be for a little bit of our gaming side okay uh actually no not really the gaming side this is actually for just the way that we operate would you rather titties oh i am so sorry so sorry so so sorry i apologize (laughs) 
titties. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Would you rather give up the internet and be able to play video games uh, offline? That's any video game, even even games that are exclusively online, mm-hmm. or have access to the internet and never be able to play video games again? Ooh. So you can't have access to the internet, but you can play games. Yeah, you can play whatever game you want. So that means I can't listen to music. Right? No, you can still internet. listen to music, but not like, through the internet. So CDs, iPod. That's a lot of work. And that you want to know something crazy? The other day I saw a meme. It wasn't even a meme. It just it, it just hurt. I said, uh, you may not realize it, but there was one day in your life you burned your last CD. <laughs> oh shit. I fucking hurt. Oh my god! I fucking hurt, bro. You burned your last CD and you didn't even realize it. That's crazy. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. You was burning CDs. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Made a made a playlist on a CD for a significant other. I know. I was, oh, because they didn't have an auxiliary. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. But, but, um, I, they they had a five disc changer in the (laughs) trunk. (laughs) None of my business though. Um, but no, I think I would, uh, I would still have the internet. Same. As much as I love video games. I I didn't start getting into video games until like 2021. Really? Yeah, when I got whenever I got the PS4, but oh, beforehand shit. I was just raw dog in life, dog. No, no, no games, just pure internet, just, just pure life. Yeah. Little social media, yep. music, picture. That, that's it. Nothing. No, 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 no twiddling the fingers. No flicking the bean. No cheat codes. Flicking the no. bean. Yeah, when you. I've never heard that to be. Yeah, I don't know. I just made that up. No, I, I, I've heard that, but it's <laughs> not, not, not for video the, games. <laughs> not, not in the game? Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, I'd probably do the internet, too, because a lot of media that I consume is from the internet. Like, I don't even have standard television. Yeah. Like, it's all, like, YouTube or Netflix, Crunchyroll. It's like... Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no. internet. Okay. Okay. Um, let me hear. Oh. Oh, this one's crazy. Would you rather uh, be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? I can get in prison. <laughs> I have to blow that. I have to blow that. I have to blow that. Okay, I, I can get manhandled in prison. I don't think I could. I mean, I can defend myself, but there's gonna be people bigger than me in prison. I, as much as I would love the. Like the just time to self in prison would be nice, depending on the prison. But I might not come out the same way I came in. Hey, and when I mean come out, <laughs> the five years in jail is definitely life changing. Yeah. I mean, but 10 years in a coma, that's world's different. That's, that's a whole that's a decade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A decade. Literally 2034. 10 years. Your nieces that were just born are in school now. They've been in school for a hot minute. That is a big culture shock. Isn't that crazy? Oh, wow. That's tough. Isn't that wild? I think I will take my chances and go five years in prison. Think so? Yeah. See, as much as I, as I want to be there for everybody else, I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm it, yeah. I'm going to I will die in jail with whatever happens. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> phobia, whatever whatever other activities happen in jail. I might come out yoked, but I'm not. I'm definitely not the same person. Yeah, yeah. I am. I, I I am a different being versus just sleeping for ten versus, years. Yeah. Ten years in a coma. You basically have to restart life, anyways. Exactly. Well, you gotta either learn, way, I learn how to but walk. Five years being conscious of everything. Yeah. 
or 10 years. Well, yeah. actually, who knows? Maybe you're in a coma. What if you have a whole other life in your coma? I heard, a, I heard a story of a guy who was who was in a coma for not even that long. Mm. When he woke up, um, he said, it's like, I had a whole other life. I had a wife and kids. I married, had a, had a successful job, had a home. And like, he got, he got like, pressed and like, went psychotic from realizing that none of that was real. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's, that's a little tough right there. Cause here, here's, here's the kicker though. Cause you've seen the movie Inception. Yeah. Things that happen in a dream, a long time in a dream could be seconds. So you live a whole lot, a whole life. Cool. You could live multiple till, lives. Till, till grandpa, until like you become a grandpa, have grandkids and whatnot. That could be like 30 minutes. Yeah. In a dream. Then you gotta do it again. Again and again. again. <laughs> I got pulled into the. Let me tell you life. something though. If it's a lucid dream, if it's a lucid dream and I'm in control, <laughs> I'm partying. <laughs> I'm going wild. I'm flying. I'm, I'm creating scenarios. So I'm like, all right, Godzilla's gonna be right there. I'm gonna have my Gundam right over there. And we're gonna we're gonna duke it out. <laughs> like, all right, Goku's on this side. Superman's over here. <laughs> I'm in the middle and I'm gonna referee this fight. <laughs> now fuck that. <laughs> I'm joining into this hell. <laughs> like, because like a lot of us don't realize it. There's a lot of information that's still sitting in the back of our consciousness, in the back of our mind that we yeah. don't even realize yet. I actually heard something uh where you know when you're dreaming and you're you're in a crowd of people, mm-hmm. any face that you've seen in a dream is a face that you've seen in real life. You know what pisses me off about a dream is when you're trying to make out, not like, like, but trying to make out who that person is in that dream. You know what I mean? Like you remember, like you see their face, everything, you know who they are. But when you wake up and you're trying to remember that dream, their face is blurred. Yeah. 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 But in the dream, you know, you, you saw know exactly who they are. So I'm clear as day. Yeah. yeah. And but then like when you wake up, it's like, was it that person? Because that's who I'm thinking of, or was it someone else? Because I've had a couple couple of dreams where I'm just like, is it this person, but with this person's personality? Or is it this person with that person's yes. personality? But this person had tattoos and this person never had tattoos. Yeah. But I'm just like Was it was it a future version of that person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. It I'm like an alternate it, version? Yeah. Like your first ten minutes after you wake up, you're over there just figuring out life until you realize you're late for work. <laughs> Facts. You know, I'd probably be selfish in this one and probably have to do the coma. I can't I can't picture myself I no, I get you in jail. I get it. I'm so I'm sorry to the family. I'm sorry, Selena. I'm sorry, Ratu. But y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to thrive without me for for a Ratu, decade. Why aren't you visiting Cisco? That motherfucker's having the time of his life right now. Man, fuck that guy. He's, He's left me for reality. <laughs> he left me in this shit hole. That guy's dreaming right now. He's fine. All right, guys, relax. He'll be okay. <laughs> he gonna wake up. You getting you getting fucked up in your dreams and the, and your body's over. Like, <laughs> What's crazy is again, if it's a lucid dream, I'm imagining all my family in there. Yeah, I'm I'm. I'm taking it all in. I'm like, yep, we're going to live life still. <laughs> okay. But, but yeah, you would I, would, jail? I would do jail. I would do jail. Strong. I just. Strong man. I'm not this strong. <laughs> okay. This one is more of a you question. Would you rather give up sports or give up music? Ooh. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. This man loves both. Specifically <laughs> basketball. Um, but I know. Loves music. Oh, For me, I've I've never really been a sports fan. I tried sports in high school. I played soccer for like a year when I was younger. You know, I do respect it, but for me personally, it's an it's a no brainer for me. I'm I'm choosing I'm choosing to give up sports. I'm keeping music in my life. Yeah, there there's a good community between both, and I've. I've met through a lot of people. Wow, that is tough. Yeah. That just just shoot me now. Just shoot I you now. I can't choose. I can't choose, dog. You have a gun to your head right now. Give up music or you give up sports. <laughs> what are you giving up? Don't pull it out. I don't know if we can get <laughs> Where's my basketball? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing in basketball. <laughs> 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 that's hard. 
That's tough. I don't know. I can't give up music and I can't give up sports. Yeah. Like I could, I can, uh, you know what? It, it's easier to say I can see my life going forward with just music alone. I, oh, so, so it's hard for me to form that sentence. So I'm just, I'm just building the case for music more. You have to watch every movie without any music. You go to a club, there's no music playing for you. I know, but I can't watch sports either. I can't watch no basketball with my homies. I can't play pickleball yeah, yeah, with can. the homie. I can't do any of that. That's that. I plead the fifth. I cannot answer this. Can't choose? I, I can't choose because there's there. I can't do one or the other. Yeah. I've gone like months without playing basketball because I hurt myself. Yeah. But like, but he that still doesn't, keeps, that, yeah, yeah I, that doesn't take me out of like being involved. Like, yeah, you're still watching yeah, yeah, sports. Yeah. You're still, yeah, I can't, I can't. With the homies. You're going to have to shoot me on the spot because. And the way I'll go out is exactly that. Have a basketball and then sing some song. <laughs> He's going to have literally an iPod. Yep. And Locked then play in. basketball. Yep. We're all in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shooter goes, wait, hold on. This is a bop. Go keep going. <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, um, I plead the fifth on that one. I can't, I can't do anything. Right. That's tough for me. That's a, uh, that one was good. That was really good. But you gotta choose, my boy. Nah, yeah, you're gonna have to shoot nah, me on boy. the spot, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you wanna be fucked up? If it was, if if this was a real scenario, if if you didn't choose either, you lose your hearing and your legs. I would have to. Now you don't. Now you don't get both. I would have to off myself. Huh? Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I, even if you took my legs, there's still wheelchair basketball. <laughs> Let's not disrespect okay, your the, arms and your legs. Let's not, let's not disrespect the wheelchair community. Your arms and your legs. It's There's still wheelchair here. people with. They just use their mouth. <laughs> Don't disrespect the wheelchair community. All right, they on a roll right now. This is fucked up. But do you remember I sent you a meme a long time? It was two MMA fighters, but they both of them didn't have arms. Oh no, I did not see that one yet. If I if. I, just, I said this. I think I would go in a mad, like a major depression route if my hearing was taken away. Yeah. That, oh. Hearing. Ear. If my sight was to go, I don't mind. It's my... I'd say the two most important, important sen uh, senses that you have are vision and hearing. Yeah. Those are two of the most important. Because you're literally able to take in 90% of what's going on in the world with those two senses. Yeah, senses. no, I can't. I, yeah, if you took my took my hearing away, I might as well go out too. Oh, this one's crazy. Would you rather have everyone know? Oh, sorry. Would you have? Oh, my dyslexia is kicking in. Would you rather have everyone you know be able to read your thoughts? Or everyone you know have access to your internet. They can have access to my internet history. Yeah, they, I have there's, hide. there's no way. I have no to, way. I have nothing to hide for what I search. There's no way y'all gonna some, have access to my thoughts. I have some dark ass thoughts. I'm dark. Yeah, she got some cheeks on her. <laughs> That's your cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. Um, yeah. I will say what I want to say out loud because I kind of, I'll say some outlandish things, but there are some things I will not say because it's intrusive. So, yeah, you can have access to my internet history. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Is six inches a normal length? That's a normal ass question, right? Don't fault me for it. Don't, don't, don't stone me. Okay. <laughs> six inches is a lot. You guys don't even realize. <laughs> Three inches is a lot. You don't even know. <laughs> We're not shaming sizes here. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, no, but uh, they can have access to my internet history. I don't yeah, care. I have nothing to hide. Y'all know what I like. Make sure you order me a size 13, size 14 for those shoes. 14? It depends on... These are a size 14 right here. Did you get them because because well, you needed them a little bit more wide? Yeah. Uh, that's why. A 13 wide. The, depending on the shoe, it would have to be 14 sometimes. Did it make 13 and a half? 
They do, but they don't usually go the wide. Like, they're not wide like I want it. So I always oh, go okay, up. Okay, so you go up. up. Yeah, yeah. Just 13 wide or 14? 14. 14. It is. Gotta be safe, my boy. Yeah. Safe. Would you rather give up any TV series, including anime, that's uh, uh, 30 minute ish episodes, 30 minute to mm-hmm. pushing an hour, because some episodes are like that? It's including anime or give up movies. Ooh, we. Uh, I asked this question because there was a good period of time where me and Ratu basically lived in a movie. We would we would see movies back to back to back in a day. If we say we're going to the movies, we're getting there at like eleven. We're movie hopping. Yeah, we movie hopping and we this leave before it you even reserve the seat. You just pay your ticket, go inside, yep. find the seat, you sit there. Oh, that's tough. Um, I think solely I will I will stick with movies. We'll stick with movies. Yeah, I oh I only got recently into like TV shows, uh, like within the past like four or five years. But like okay. within then, like I still love movies. I still love the whole, just the concept of just you know yeah cinematography storyline whatever the purpose of that movie is i'm all for it yeah i'll deep dive even though there are very good shows that give that same thing just broken down into now that i'm saying it more is really tough (laughs) see i am going to choose tv shows i know you i know i knew your answer only because with tv shows the story is able to be written out a lot longer. Hell, yeah, and a much longer. Character development. Yeah, you're is, able to is, get it. You have a lot more time. Yeah. Now, not discrediting like other like mo- or movies in general. Yeah. Because there are definitely movie series that have been able to do, do that. that very well. Something like Harry Potter. But I mean, we're looking at literally like two and a half, three hour movie. Fast and Furious. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Tremors. <laughs> um, <laughs> like you're, you're scary still- movie. <laughs> scary movie. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I think I do love. Ah, that's tough. On this tough, because there there are definitely movies that I love. There are movies that and we I talked about it before that are just literally rewatchable. Time and time again, you can rewatch over and over and over. But because I am such a sucker for a good story, <laughs> like I, I really do enjoy uh, anime series. Actually, I was talking to uh, Galena about this. She was like, I can't dedicate myself to, to a movie. I said, like, but you watch a TV series that are like hour long episodes that are like mm. 20 episodes. Like, yeah, but it's more digestible. And I was like, I respect that it. That is true too. Yeah. More digestible. You, you're not committing yourself to a huge gap of time where a good chunk of your day is going to be gone. Yeah. I mean, granted, like if we're at home, we can always pause the movie. And yeah. To it. But if we're like, we're just like, I need some quick entertainment only for like 30 minutes to an hour. I could put on a couple episodes or even one episode of su- such show and then keep pushing. So, but again, it's mainly the storytelling factor for me, uh, being able oh, to right. really round out a story completely, especially, especially when, you know, like an average series, let's say is 12 episodes. If it's 30, 40 minutes episode, there are quite a few hills that you could put on. I mean, hold on. Quick math. Uh, let's just say 30 minute episodes times 12. Six, six hours. That is not what I want. So it's about oh. like seven hours every day if you watch it all day. Yeah, around, around six hours worth of, of media consumption. So yeah. uh, <clears throat> double to triple the amount of time you, you would get per movie. Of course. You're able to flush out that story a lot more. Yeah, I think thinking about it now in hindsight, because I'm thinking about all my shows that I just watched within this past, like, five to like three to four or five years i i i would have to change my answer to, to shows because it's yeah that is uh 
That is a lot of shows. And right now, and, and it's probably not, you know, the industry's fault, but not a lot of movies has been coming out lately this, this past year or two. I was just about to say, say the same thing. I don't think there was, I've seen a, a really good movie that hooked me. That's like three. No, no, mind you, there, there are good movies that hook me. It's just not, con- that's not a consistent release of them. But yeah, there's always like every five movies I watch, there's probably maybe one good one, a, 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 maybe every two maybe every three or four, then it's like mediocre. So it's just like, it's tough. Which shows, like, it, once you're past the first season, you're already committed. Yeah. Like, that, that means you're already hooked in. Yeah. For a movie, like, it's the first 30 minutes of it, you know. Actually, bro, pretty- I saw you earlier today. You're watching Fire Force now. Yeah. Uh, How many episodes are you in? I'm on the fifth one. Fifth episode? Those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me and Dom were talking about it because of course, because after I, the last one, uh, most recent one I just watched was Kaiju, Kaiju number eight. Well, Kaiju I, number eight. I, I, I think I just I've been pro, I've been procrastinating on it. I, just I know it's really that good. one really good. Um, and then he was just like, "Fire Force is your last one. You got to watch." And I was like, "Cause I told him like I'd probably give." Did you one... watch Sam- Samurai Shampoo yet? Yeah, I finished that all. Oh, that dope. was the only reason why I was able to to move forward it without any guilty conscience. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Because I would have openly said it in the group chats with Dalt in there. Because yeah, Dal- yeah. Dalt's go to was like. But did you watch Samurai? Samurai Sam? So, <laughs> but yeah, I've already watched it. So, yeah, I'm just doing that. And then I think I'll be done for a minute. Fire Force? Crazy. Fire Force is uh, so far. I mean, that first episode, you were sleeping. And I was like, I was just trying to wake up. And I, and I just like put it on. And I just laid back. Next thing I was just hooked on. <laughs> then like, I think like after the second episode, I'm over here just watching. Just So, yeah. Bro, I have patches, right? A tome. Oh. Oh. But uh but yeah. Uh show God's soul. Show shows would be my I would I would have to keep my shows. I would have to give a movie as I am so sorry. But I mean, yeah, to be honest, at this point most shows now they're just condensed versions of just a movie. Yeah. And like it- shout out to Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone because they got everything that I would like in the in a show, which is the cinematography, storyline, like character development, all everything all there. Yellowstone's like my top top five. Is that on HBO? That is on Peacock. I wanna see your Peacock. But um But yeah, shows. I would go with shows. That's my final answer. I'm gonna say shows as well. Uh especially since anime's in that that factor. Uh, yeah, I I have to, I have to, yeah. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. Even though I love movies, ah, is what. All right, one last question to round it out. Let me see if I can pull one up from the internet. A lot of these are actually very interesting. We're gonna need to have to. We're gonna have to do a whole other round two just okay. for these. Yeah, but we'll, well, well, um. Do just one more. Uh, would you rather labor under a hot sun or extreme cold? Extreme cold for me. I can only get so naked when it's hot. Like it's our, my AC's blast right now. It's like probably eighty something degrees in the house. I'm miserable. I could. I would labor in the hot sun. Thought you would. As much as I hate the sun, I think when I lived in, in Orange County, I've grown to love it. Um, but I think, say for me, I, I would just go sun because I would hate to labor in the in the cold and then start hating the cold. You know what I mean? Because oh. I I personally love the cold. Yeah. Now I can love it to the point where I work in it, but then there are going to be days where I'm like I don't want to be I don't want to be here. I don't I don't want to be traumatized to be the point where like ah. Oh, yeah, I used to work at the cold. I don't. I don't like it anymore. Yeah. So I would rather just do a love hate relationship with the hot sun because I I've bared I've bared it before. So I'll do it again. Like like you know I'll do the labor work out in the sun. I've done it. I've done yard work. So I'll take it. But yeah, I I wouldn't want to ruin that that relationship with the cold. With See, me. I think. Are you picturing this as a one-time thing? No, 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 no. Like, like Forever. a full-time job, like labor. Yeah, like you said, labor, like okay. construction or yard yeah. work. Like, I'll, I'll do that. Because I, I don't. Me personally, I don't mind the manual labor itself. Yeah. Now the conditions of it, hey, that just comes with the job. You know what I mean? So I, but I'll still take, I'll still take it under the sun. I'm, I'm, th- I'm thinking long term too. I'd, I'd rather do it. 
cold, mainly because I have asthma when it's no. hot. I've seen it before where I he just has asthma. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I seen it. I seen it. Yeah, or it's just it's just difficult for me to operate versus being in the cold, like especially if it's a you know labor intensive job. I start to warm up anyways. Yeah, but if I'm if I'm in like zero degree weather and like I have like a, what do they call it the puffer jacket. Start sweating. Yeah, when I start sweating, it's coming off. Yeah, it's gonna come off. Yeah, and and I'm still gonna be warm, and I'm still just gonna do my job. Yeah, and then so be it. This is what it is. There's a point for me where I just get numb to the cold, and I don't even feel it. So let's get it done. Like the amount, it's funny because the amount of times living in Victorville, where you know the ice cold nights, where I've been in shorts and a tank top, fixing something in my car, doing something outside. And like my mom and dad, are you not cold? Like, no. Yeah, we're fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I am perfectly fine. And yeah, that, I'm basing it off of those experiences. Just personal experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, that's yeah. what I'm basing mine off of too. It's just, I don't mind this. I don't mind the sun as long as it's during labor. Now, if I'm just out there trying to enjoy my time with like friends, I'll probably hate it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah let's yeah, move yeah. inside, guys. Like, yeah. AC somewhere. If I'm getting like, <laughs> I will weigh my options. Like I'm getting paid for this. I would hope to be in a uh, uh, environment where like the coworkers are cool. But if not, that's completely fine. I'm still getting paid for it. Yeah, I'm still doing manual labor. If it's so between friends, if it's a party, yeah. Like even yesterday or not yesterday, sun, uh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Like I was like, I want to hang out inside. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hang out. I want to be with the <laughs> the titas and all them just just gossiping in there. I walked into the restroom and they were just like whispering about them. Like, y'all talking about it here. <laughs> It's cold in here, but the tea is hot. <laughs> yeah, the tea is hot. That's bad funny. But all right, guys, that was our episode of Would You Rather. Uh, if you have any Would You Rather's that you would like to answer, put it in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, we'll probably do a round two, maybe stack up a question. Like, I'll stack some of mine. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like how you have yours. I do, ha- I do have one more podcast that I would like to record this one. A little bit juicy. For those of you guys that don't know, uh... One sly comment that we did or that I said on on one of our podcasts blew up on Instagram. Like it has like oh, okay, like okay. hundred thousand K likes. Yeah. And like a million plus views. And it was the uh Ben Ten beats Goku question or statement. And a lot of y'all are mad about it, but it's hilarious. Oh my god. So who <laughs> cares? <laughs> A lot of people apparently, but I have something similar to that lined up for the next podcast. Uh, so make sure you subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up um, and stay tuned for the next podcast. Again, write your questions, uh, any topics you guys want us to talk about in the comments below. Uh, follow us on all of our other social media pages as well. It's all linked in the description. Ratsu, closing messages. Um, I've heard this before and I'll always say it again. Try to stay sucker free in a world full of lollipops. Heard the man. Be sure.